I'm prepping for a class and I wanted to show some comparison examples using VLOOKUP and I ran into a problem that I thought others will probably experience as well. I've done a VLOOKUP, uh, the classic VLOOKUP, and what has happened is I'm looking from this invite list, I'm matching the name to this responded list and I'm pulling these RSVPs from this list, I'm matching up by full name. That's what my VLOOKUP is doing. So I've got that set up, but what happened is it returned every place that was blank, it brought in a zero, and I don't want the zero at all. So I wanted to show you a couple solutions that I found. So the easiest way we'll do this, let's just take the VLOOKUP that I've set up, I've got it working. I'm copying that, and I'll put these examples in my description for you. So in the first option, the best way to handle this, I found, is to um, concatenate, uh, add with an ampersand a blank value. So add an ampersand, quote, quote, to the end of the VLOOKUP. That one's not too hard, and if you fill that down, what it does is it's it's picking up that zero value still, but when you add the blank, then it's showing only a blank in the cell. So that one is, would be my go-to. That would be the easiest. I'll show you another, though, if you are into if statements. So let's just paste that in there to give us something to start with, and I'll give myself a little more room here. What I'd like to do here is add an if statement. If this VLOOKUP returns a value of zero, then what do I do if it's true that it is a zero? And what do I do if it's false, that it has some text in there? So if it is a zero, what I do if it's true is I just put in the quote quote because I want a blank then a comma, what do I do if it's false? Now, this one seems more complex and the formula will look really long because I actually am going to repeat the VLOOKUP again. Uh, copy that after that comma. What do you do if it's false? I want to repeat the VLOOKUP. So if it finds a zero, blank. If it doesn't find a zero, then give me the value of the VLOOKUP. Now we need some more closing parentheses here on the end. Excel should help me with it. Well, let's see if I can get them. There we've got that one. I think I need one more. Close it up, drop it in, fill it down, and there you go. We've solved the problem. A couple of methods. I'll put these in the description. And if you're dealing with numbers, you you need another kind of, um, of solution. So I'll also put a, a solution for that in, in the uh, copies or in the description. So hope that helps. Have a great day.